guys want a shot at winning a copy of Call of Duty World War II for the console of your choice for absolutely free, a couple of my friends and I are doing a little giveaway. Link is down there in the description below. Go check it out if you're interested. While leaks aren't exactly my thing, and I understand some people may or may not like them, today I want to discuss one thing of a recent major leak that you may have seen around. During the PC beta, I was admittedly surprised that no one really leaked much of anything still in the game code. For those that don't know, betas aren't just simply coded with the things that you see on the surface. It's a giant production with building blocks that can't be taken out without disintegrating the rest of the build above it. So things like streaks, zombies, and many other things have to remain in the game code unless developers want to risk a catastrophic game failure. Every bit of code is interconnected. So with that said, I'm sure you can imagine quite some surprise when during the immediate PC beta weekend, there were no leaks that came out. Well, as the past few days, Reddit's been abuzz with leaks regarding zombies, multiplayer, and the peripheries of things like camo, streaks, headquarters, and much more. So much buzz has been around this that even Michael Condry himself addressed it head on, saying that we have had a couple of things leak recently across multiplayer and zombies. It's disappointing for everyone involved in creating the game, but in the spirit of transparency, we want to be upfront about it. Some of the details were inaccurate, early, or still subject to change. Others we would consider spoilers. But the meat and potatoes that I want to discuss today comes out of those leaks. I don't want to touch on much, just one specific place, the theory streak that was leaked known as the V2 rocket. Now, while the leak gave no indication as to the score streaks tiering system, such as what is the lowest to what is the highest in score streaks or gun streaks, the V2 rocket was amongst that list and seemed immediately out of place. Without naming names of other streaks leaked, out of respect to the development team as well as those who may not wish to have the streaks leaked to them that watch the channel, we already have five aerial streaks that are targeted barrages of fire, so another bomb streak would seem a bit overkill. But it's where the investigation further into the V2 rocket brings more intrigue in my book and unveils the possible nature of this streak in game a secret or hidden 25 to 30 gun streak. For those that don't know the history of the V2 bomb, a brief little recap here for this was that it was the first long range guided ballistic missile in the world. Developed by the Germans as a vengeance weapon, planned to be used in retaliation on the British and other allies for the bombing of German cities, it was not only a weapon of terror, but a weapon of decent destruction as well. The only issue that the Germans came in contact with, with this in a practical sense, was that they often had the inability to launch or would malfunction whilst in the air and go careening off target. But how does this relate back to the premise of it being a secret streak in World War II? Well, previously, as mentioned, it just firstly seems out of place. Five different barrage-esque streaks are already in the game or will be in the game upon release of it. So to me, adding a sixth would be absolutely overkill. But the V2 was no doubt a key player in the European theater, especially during the end of the war, and that is where our game is going to be taking place. Towards the end of the war, and of course, definitely in the European theater. While the atomic bomb is highly regarded as the most known bomb to come out of World War II, that was on the Pacific theater. But in the European theater, the V2 was an agent of chaos as well. So, whereas everybody immediately thought that World War II meant the ending streak or secret streak would be an atomic bomb, we also had to get over the hurdle of that not being very region specific. While in a practical sense, not all things are region specific in World War II and accurate as such, as many are quick to point out over some of the weaponry, the base of the game is still rooted in plausible fact. So whereas everybody thought the atomic bomb would be that final streak, dropping an atomic bomb in a game designed around the European front would shatter that glass of realism that has been displayed thus far. Both because it's a completely separate region and because there was never an atomic bomb used anywhere near the theater in which we're taking place in. So thus, it's very possible to me that the V2 could be stepping in here. While the bomb's destructive radius is nowhere near that of the atomic bomb, it could play in well with the recent times of taking out an entire enemy team upon dropping it, such as the DNA, the chem, the deatomizer, the Moab, those sorts of streaks, and then everybody would respawn and the game continues. The real life V2's decimating power also rivaled that of something that we've seen in games like those streaks, because it would take out entire city blocks, but not leave the rest of the terrain in a nuclear wasteland. And in terms of the city blocks, that could actually easily rival that of a standard map size, and while there were some issues in terms of the rockets finding their target, they ended up progressing as the war went on, to which the casualties later in the war could historically take out six to nine players on a team with ease. So to me, it seems like all these things could add up 
to the point of this being a secret streak, a 25 to 30 gun streak within World War II and continuing that of what we see in terms of the metal system and the reward lethal streak like we've seen in Advanced Warfare. But nonetheless, that is where we're gonna wrap it up here at this one. It was something that caught my eye immediately whenever I saw this. And again, for the respect of those that don't want to have things leaked to them and of course the development team which has put three years into this, I'm not gonna delve into the nitty gritty details of these leaks because there was a ton of stuff that was leaked over on Reddit. So if you guys are interested, of course, you can totally find that there. But once again, I'm probably not gonna be covering all that much, but I wanted to point this one particular thing out for you guys. So that said, let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Do you think this has the possibility to be that final game ending or secret streak in which we've wanted for so long? And do you think it is a nice little touch on this that we could see here not being, say, an atomic bomb, but being specific to the region, to where the game is going to be focused? I think it'd be cool to see this here coming, and of course, do you think we're hitting the nail on the head? Whatever it may be, let me know down in the comment section down below, but hopefully you guys enjoyed, and if you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below, and of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything regarding Call of Duty World War II. We're gonna be killing it going up into the launch, and of course, afterwards, we'll be killing it as well, so if any of it interests you, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a beat, and finally, if you guys wanna follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube. I practically live on Twitter, so if you guys wanna strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, Link is down there in the description below. But all that said, Natalie, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. Mine is an espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.